You can tell I got a few, um, and I'm definitely going to be making some more. That's going to be more of a vlogs. I'm not sure. Did I say vlogs? Um, vlogs. I cannot wait. I don't know what my next period is going to be, but it's going to be something, all right? <laughs> this lip gloss right here is the best red, and it is the pigment. It is the most pigmented lip gloss I've ever, ever tried. But this gets all over your teeth, man. Little we'll update. I kind of dyed my hair a little bit. I had like a mental breakdown and I was just like, okay, let's dye my hair. So it was a whole lot more prettier than this. Like I look like a crackhead, but it's fine. So this is my septum piercing and I actually love this piercing so freaking much. I don't know, like it just gives you this like, I don't give a fuck attitude, you know? Pretty, I love it. It's one of my favorite, favorite piercings and I'm never going to take it out, you know? I come out psychiatrist or whatever, I'm just gonna be like, poop, what piercing ho? Felt like nothing. It felt like a pinch on my um on my skin. Felt a little less painful than my nose, if you would believe me. The piercer who had did it, that um he's done all of my piercings by the way, he said that the, Jesus Christ. Alright, look, if if y'all just see lip gloss on my um teeth, I'm sorry. This just I can't fix it. <laughs> Okay, so he had a client who had who wanted a septum, and he said that he'd rather get his dick pierced than his um get his septum redone. Oh, if you guys see that like crazy white girl that's crying because she just got her nose pierced, like dramatic, it's for the views. Trust me, because it does not hurt that bad. Okay, there's your scoop on these two piercings. This is my industrial bar. I have both of these um done because I have big ears. I got this one done. Painful piercing that I've ever, ever had. This really does hurt. From like a 1 to a 10, it's probably like a 7. It's like, it's one of the like coolest piercings. One of like probably the most common. But I do really love this piercing. This actually didn't, like the healing process was like not that terrible. Like for a good like month to, to two months, I couldn't sleep on this side. But the healing process was really good on this one but this one right over here it took a year for this to um, heal this one took six months but um for like other people like the healing process um for these is like could be six months to a year like for real um i'm not saying that you can't sleep on your side but um because you definitely can it's just like I got bumps like right here and everything like that and just it's just what the healing process was terrible on this side I do not regret these I really love these and if you really want them most definitely get them so yeah that's a scoop on the industrial bar so let's get into the Trangus one so this piercing right here was my first piercing that I ever got and this was in eighth grade my dad knew that I really really wanted this piercing so he got me this and this actually, I was actually a little baby about it. I was like so, like my palms were sweaty. Like I was so scared to get this. And I go in there and I'm like, I'm such a baby about it. Cause I'm just like, I don't know if I want this. Like it looks so pretty, but then again, I don't want this. He just talks to me and he's like, listen, like it's not that bad. It's gonna hurt, but it's not gonna be that terrible. So I sit there and I go through it and it hurt. It did hurt. One to, one to 10, like a six, six or five. But yeah, I have both of these. These are not that bad for real. Like healing process, no. This one, I didn't have that bad of a healing process. But this one, my first piercing, it was so hard. It took forever to heal too. I can't remember how long it took. I had to get this pier because I had a, like a little stud and I had to get it changed to this hoop because I kept getting fluid trap around here and it was just it was like this nasty bubble and everyone thought it was infected but it wasn't infected it's just I had fluid um, trapped back there and it kept coming back and I don't know how but it just kept coming back it came back like four times till finally he changed it and he popped it um, and he said this this should make it better if anything and he was right actually it come back one time then I popped it it healed right after that like I had no more problems so I mean all of these piercings really wasn't that bad I would definitely get them if you really really want them they're not that bad at all but, like my next piercing I really want my nipples pierced for real but yeah like I really want my nipples pierced <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll ever go through with that because um 
I'm trying to breastfeed when I get older and when like have kids, so that's definitely gonna interfere with that. Definitely do not go and do this illegally. Don't get some hood rat off the streets piercing your damn skin. Don't do that. Don't God, don't do that. Don't fucking do that. Please, please. Don't let these white boys fool you. They are not good piercers. Do not, do not, do not let them pierce your motherfucking skin. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. God forbid. Do not get the gun. Oh God, do not get the gun. Do not get the gun. That is the most unsafe way to get a piercing at all. Like even for these, they're actually very unsafe, but People are going to be people. They're going to do what the hell they want to do. So yeah, that's my experiences on my piercings. Um, if you have piercings that you want to talk about, talk about it in the comments below. I'll have a conversation with you. There only might be like two people talking about some yes and pretty, but you know, you can comment if you want to. I'm going to be going now because I'm about to go get some wings from Papa John. But I'll see y'all guys next time. I don't know when the hell I'm gonna upload because I have mental breakdowns every other day. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.